And 538, we are under a weather alert here in Southern Colorado today, Sam. But we had a crazy cool show of lightning yesterday. Larry, lots of times he was able to send us in pictures. This was a beautiful lightning strike that arc kind of spiraled around and then looked for that charge in the ground, and that must have been a very loud bolt. The loudest bolts are always those cloud to ground lightnings. They have to go through so much atmosphere, they make all that noise, and they definitely give you a bright show. So we probably will see a lot more of that today. Lightning on the west side of the city, but then be careful out there. This one was from Mount in the Shadows area from Bruce. Lightning hit this tree and kind of spiraled in a circle around the trunk. So if lightning ever does hit a tree by your house, it's always really worth it to get that thing checked out if it's still standing up because it can kill it. You wouldn't want it to fall on your house in a storm. And then one last one, June Bloom Photography. She was looking for some wildflowers, which by the way, Crested Butte getting into June here, July now, the time to get out and explore. This one was really pretty. And so thanks for that photo, especially with the fox there. We had some of the best rain up in the Pikes Peak region. The blues are kind of estimated quarter to half inch rain totals, but then these green pockets are where the radar estimated we got about an inch or so. And then actually this little strip of storms that moved through Bent County dropped, oh, anywhere from about an inch to an inch and a half of rain. Pueblo. We need to get you rain, and I'm hoping today is the day. We are forecasting strong storm with pockets of heavy rain. There will be fewer storms over the weekend. Storm chances start high today, and they just kind of go down over the next few days. In fact, on the 4th of July, it looks hot and mostly dry through the region, with more months in moisture trying to pick up in the middle of next week. Temperatures are in the 50s and 60s to start your day. Looking later on, we will go to the 70s and 80s, and I do want to kind of quickly show a future cast loop of the timing. We start to see a star on a two down by Trinidad by two, but I think between four to six o'clock is when stuff really gets going on the interstate. We look for those strong storms and then from six to 10 o'clock, there could be severe weather out east. So in your seven day forecast, I don't see a chance for quarter size hail in Colorado Springs today, but I think dime to nickel size is possible, which could hurt plants, but it wouldn't damage your car. We would see more storm chances through the weekend, although they're much lower Sunday. I have the fourth being dry and I have chances in the middle of next week. Pueblo, hoping for heavy rain, cloud to ground lightning, and some small hail is a possibility. I do see us with more storms through Saturday and Sunday. And then the fourth looks dry with some more isolated storms on Tuesday. Canyon City, we are looking at storms today. We will continue to track more storm chances through Saturday and Sunday with dry skies on Monday. And it's kind of like Pueblo, small hail, cloud to ground lightning is a big threat. I would expect some small hail potential in Teller County today based on the last few days of storm activity. Lots of cloud to ground lightning and heavy rain and plenty of storm chances through the week, which does include the fourth. Let's go to traffic. 551. Let's go up to Baptist Road. So looking on the north end of town, it's pretty good on our traffic network. Colorado Springs down to Pueblo. No issues in that Pueblo Drive and Denver Drive is good.